Hello! Today I will show you how using Pygame and Polar coordinates we can write a function to draw a star with asterisk. Let's start with a short plan of what we will do. First we will prepare the Pygame setup. Next we will create a function to draw a circle with asterisk characters. And we will finish creating a function to draw a parameterized star out of asterisk characters. In this part, we will prepare the Pygame setup. Ok, so what we want is to have a Pygame window where we will display our object. We will prepare the basics of what is necessary to display the Pygame window. First, we need to import and initialize the Pygame. Make sure to install it. Ok, so let's import Pygame and initialize it. Next, we need to set up the drawing window. For that, we need the window dimensions. Let's create two new variables, width and height, and make the window size 800 by 800 pixels. Here in the window size, we can set up the drawing display, pygame.display.setMode, and in brackets, we add a tuple, width and height. Ok, next we'll need a color for our window, and also a color for an object. Let's add black and yellow. Next, we need the main loop to control when the process stops, with write running equal to true and while running. The first thing we can do is to handle the events. What we want is to be able to close the Pygame window when we press the window close button. So we get an event with pygame.event.get and if it is pygame.quit, we stop the main while loop and close the Pygame window. Also, let's add another event. Let's check what key is pressed. Key state equal to pygame.key.getPressed. If the press key is the escape key, we also stop the main while loop and close the pygame window. Ok, now we can go back to our pygame window. Let's fill it with a black color, screen.fill and brackets black. We have a black pygame screen, but if we want to do something on it, we need to update it, pygame.display.update. And we finish with a pygame exit line, pygame.quit. It will happen once the loop finishes. Ok, let's run and see. We have a black Pygame window. If we press the window close button, it closes. Let's run the program again and close the window with the escape button. Ok, it works too. Let's draw a circle using Pygame's draw method. We need to place our drawing on top of the filled screen or else we won't see anything. We write pygame.draw.circle and in brackets we add screen to draw on color yellow, the starting position with divided by 2 and height divided by 2, and the circle radius 200. Let's run the code now. Ok, we have a filled yellow circle. Let's move to the next part. In this part, we will create a function to draw a circle with asterisk characters. Before starting, let's check the polar coordinates. We will be using them because they are very suitable for this type of task. Ok, so what is a polar coordinate system? The polar coordinate system is a two-dimensional coordinate system in which each point on the plane is determined by a distance from a reference point and an angle from a reference direction. So what we need are the center point, the distance add to the point, and the angle phi. The angle could go 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. We will use radians. Ok, we will calculate each point location from a defined center point using a polar coordinate system. But to display them, we will need to convert them back to the Cartesian coordinate system. Let's go down to the conversion part. To convert from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates, we will need these two easy formulas. Also, here is the diagram to illustrate what is happening. Let's go back to the code. Ok, so we will need the math library, let's import it. Also, we need to define our character. For that, first we need to have a defined font. Let's define 3 sans bold and the size of 30. And after that, we can have a character asterisk. Ok, so to calculate the position in polar coordinates, we need the start point. We'll start from the window center as we draw our circle. Let's add x start and y start. In this line, we can delete. What we want is to calculate the coordinates of the circle at specific angle. The tangle will be phi and we will go full circle to pi. So while phi is less than 2 pi, we will draw the character. To get the x and y coordinates of a simple circle, we will use conversion from a polar to Cartesian coordinate systems formulas 
adding the starting point, and after that you can draw our object. We will need the character and the coordinates we have to draw. Also, we want to update the screen after every single character is drawn. And we finish our while loop with angle phi in radians incrementation. What's left is to create the draw object function. Let's move up and write draw object with inputs char, x, and y values. And in the function, first we need to render our char to be able to display it. Make sure that the char is a string type and the color we add is yellow. And second, to build the char on the screen and the calculate coordinates. Let's run. Okay, it looks like all chars were drawn in the same location at once. That's not true, we need to scale our circle and add waiting time to see how it's drawn. Let's go back to the code and do it. We will need to scale the second parts of x and y coordinate calculations. Let's add scale value outside the main y loop, 300 should be enough. And multiply by scale variable. Let's run the code. Okay, it works. We also need to add some waiting time between character drawings. Let's do it here and write pygame.time.wait and brackets 100 milliseconds. Also, let's increase the character size to 50. Ok, now it looks good. In this part, we will write the equations to draw the star using asterisk characters. To draw a star is not as easy as a circle. We need some serious math. We need an equation to calculate the distance from the center to the star edges. We can get the necessary equations from this page. What we want is a star like this. As you can see by changing the parameters, we can get different variations, or even different forms. So what we will need is this equation. Also, we will need to calculate x max. Let's go back to our code and use these equations. First, let's add the necessary parameters. Next, we calculate x max, a0, and a. What else we need to do is to move the x and y coordinate calculation from the main while loop to the function. Let's cut from here and pass it here. Ok, now as you can see we need to update the x and y variables. Let's delete the value part. The last thing we need to do is to add the multiplication by a value for our coordinate calculation and conversion. And that's it with this function. Now we can move to the main while loop and call the function with new parameters. Parameters we get from the page I showed before. Ok, let's run the code. Ok, the function is correct and it draws a star using asterisk. Let's try with different parameters. Also, don't forget that you can change the end parameter to have a different number of edges. This one looks cool. This is how easy you can write a function to draw a star using an asterisk or any other character. Hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. You will find the code in the video description. If you liked this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.